Hey everyone, it's Colin from DIY Guy. Welcome to the garage. Thanks for checking out today's video where I'll be doing a follow up to the windowsill extension project I did in my previous video. Uh, if you're interested, check out that link above. But I made not one, not two, but three windowsill extensions. Uh, one's for the living room, and I've got two for the office. This large one here is five foot long, and it's going for the going on the double windowsill or the double window windowsill in the office. So the main purpose of today's video is to show you what white stain is gonna look like on natural pine wood. Uh, when I was researching stain colors, I just had a hard time finding anything but stain samples, you know, which are all fine and good, but it's hard to tell if that's gonna be the right color for you uh, when you're talking a five foot long board that's on your windowsill. So that's the reason I'm making this video. I thought it'd be helpful to anyone that's thinking about using white stain on a large slab of wood. This will give you an idea what that's gonna look like. Here's a quick shot of the two windowsill extensions in the office. We've got the smaller one on the side window, which is about 26 inches wide. And then we've got the larger one on the double window, which is about five feet wide. You can definitely see the yellowness of the natural pine. Uh, it just doesn't really vibe with our color scheme going on. We've got a lot of blacks. We've got some weathered oak look. We've got carpet. We've got whitish walls. Uh, and so the yellow pine just stood out a lot more than we wanted it to. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take some 220 grit sandpaper and just sand all this down, get some nice smooth finish. Uh, we've got some rough edges here that I'll get a splinter on probably. Um, then we've got some glue residue. You wanna make sure you get rid of that because stain is not gonna absorb into glue. Then I've also got this weird orange, kind of a waxy paint mark or something. I want to get rid of that. Um, but yeah, we're going to sand it down. I'll do a quick stain, do a time lapse of all that so you can see the color change. And then we'll show you the after shot and call it a day. I'm going to wipe everything down with a damp rag before we stain it. So here we go. Let's start with this one. Uh, we've got uh, the nice clean side on the top. We don't really care about this mark here because it's gonna be on the bottom. Now with stain, I think the longer you leave it on, the darker it's gonna be, but it also works if you do a couple, you know, two or three coats if you want it darker. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on probably five or seven minutes just because I don't want it to dry on me. Uh, I want it to be able to, you know, be wiped up with paper towels, but uh, if after five or seven minutes I wipe it off and it's still not dark enough, then I'll do a second coat and, you know, kind of repeat that until you get the darkness that you want. All right, it's time for the end result after the first coat. I'm about to wipe it off. It's been sitting here about 10 minutes. Uh, my hopes are not high. I feel like I'm gonna just wipe it all pretty much right off and it's gonna look very similar to the raw pine. So get your paper towels ready. We are going to go ahead and wipe off the first coat. I'm kinda nervous. Okay, okay. Maybe it's not so bad. It's kind of weird wiping off white stain with a white paper towel. Okay, yeah, that's that's working out better than I thought it would. Nice. I probably am going to do a second coat in a couple hours once this dries, just because I do want it to be uh, whiter than this. Here's a better shot of the three samples. The two in front have been stained white with one coat, and then the back sample has not been stained at all, so that's your, your natural yellow pine. Uh, you can see a lot a lot more of a difference in the sunlight, which is why I wanted to show you this. I think I know what I did wrong on the first two. I did not mix the stain very well, and so I think a lot of the, the white, the white stain part of the stain instead of the oil was you know not mixed in well enough, and so basically I coated the first two with oil, or very light white oil. The wood absorbed the oil instead of the white, so this is like, this is hugely better than the first two. So I really like this. I, I'm happy with just putting this up the way it is, even after one coat. So there's the trick, who'd have thought? Read the instructions and mix well. <laughs> I thought I mixed well, I just must not have. This is what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting it to look almost unstained. I'm also not wiping the stain off super hard. I'm just kind of wiping off the excess, like the can says. Again, here's a view of the three samples. The first two, actually they all three have one coat on them. The only difference was I mixed the stain a lot better before I did the third board, the back one. And so you can see it is, it is a little bit whiter than the first two. Today is the second day of the project. Um, I didn't bother filming the second coat. I put it on later last night, but I'll show you the finished product in a minute. 
Just wanted to recap on what I used. So I used the Minwax wood finish. It's just the Simply White color. And then for a top coat, which I definitely recommend if you're putting plants on it just to avoid any water damage, uh, a minimum of one coat, probably ideally two coats. But I used polyacrylic, polyacrylic protective finish. And I used just a, a clear matte. That way I didn't get the, the satin shine. If you're into the satin shine, I'm sure they sell that as well. Both of these were about $15 each at Lowe's. Without further ado, let me show you the final result. Here's the finished product. We've got them stained white, just put them up this morning. Those look so much better than the, the yellow tinted natural pine. So those are just, uh, that's two coats of white Minwax stain, uh, the Simply White. And here's the one in the double window. Again, we've got a much calmer uh, white look than that yellow pine. Uh, looks really cute with the, with the greenery. And then I've, I have yet to put these on there. I did put a top coat of a, like a surface protector on it. Uh, so that'll keep any watermarks from happening. I might put a second coat uh, sometime this week, but it's kind of cold out right now.